humans are capable of wondrous achievements because of their unique ability to feel, empathize, and dream. Without these qualities, without empathy, without feeling, without our humanity, we are like any other animal species fighting for territory, resources, survival. But unlike any other species, humans have a great imagination for death, cruelty, and mass murder. And an even greater capacity to enjoy their destructiveness. It is in our most trying times that we must hold on to our humanity with unwavering conviction, lest we become the very thing we hate and plunge into a personal hell of infinite night. How's it going everybody, my name is Mac, and welcome back to another Dead by Daily video today. Now I've heard as of right now the Archives Rift Pass has just released, and I'm a little bit excited because I heard the Wraith was going to be one of the killers who's going to get their story this time. So what we're going to go ahead and do today is I'm going to get my first reaction and my first impressions to the Cosmex and the Rift Pass. I'm going to genuinely hope that they're a little bit better than they normally are every other time, because generally I feel like the skins are normally reskins in the same color variations for other cosmetics. So at least hopefully this time there's a little bit more creativity and time to spend into the cosmetics themselves that will warrant the premium pass purchase. Before we can start, if you guys of course enjoy this video and want to check out other of my content, I recommend you do so. We are going to be reaching 400 subscribers before we're pushing, so please consider subscribing. And yeah, I'll see you guys when we check out the cosmetics. Ooh, a rift open. Okay. A full page of challenges, like normal. Lisa, Ace, Meg, Philip. Okay, okay. Oh shoot, here we go with the cosmetics. Crap, I should probably buy this real quick so that we at least can see the cosmetics. Okay, so we just made our purchase. What's uh, what's this cosmetic? Oh! <gasps> that is actually awesome! Hey devs, you're, hey, you're making me feel kind of way I don't want to be feeling, you know what I'm saying? We have the fire, what's it called? The fire within? Alright, that's a pretty cool cosmetic, I would, if I do need to say so myself. I like the arms there. Can of worms. I honestly don't really like charms that much in this game. I'll equip them, but I don't really think they're that cool. Um, yep, these are just color variations for the free pass. Not very interesting. What's this skin for the free pass? What's it called? The captain of waterboarding. Okay. I mean, that's a decent skin. At least it gives us a full body this time, and it doesn't look that bad the default. We have the Ravenous Beast mask, which I think already released. Did they just add this to the Rift Pass? This looks very familiar. Obviously, we have our Oryx cells we get back over time. Kind of like another color variation. It looks a little bit different and a little bit sleek. Um, so I, I can appreciate that it at least looks a little slightly different, but it's still kind of like a color variation of one that probably already exists. All right, Ace. Ace has this nice band. What's it called? The No Sweat Band. Hey, since when did you exercise, dude? The second gear shirt? Oh, that's so dope! It's for Yui, too! I love Yui's character. She's probably, like, my favorite survivor, and she's definitely my main, so that's why I enjoy this cosmetic a lot. Dude, they need to give her, you know what I'm saying? Like, they need to give her more good skins. Whoa! Okay! This actually stands out a lot compared to other skins. It's very red. What's this one called? This is called the Saifuku. Listen. Don't, hey, don't guys don't get me in the don't get on me in the comments for not being able to pronounce these names. Our marshmallow, I like the creativeness with the marshmallow stuff. That kind of looks cool. The the framing of it still kind of bland. Not impressed. The Bohemian Wonder. All right, I like that. Okay, I don't play Jane that much, but you know what? It is a cosmetic that makes your stand a little bit more. I like that. It's a pretty cool looking cosmetic. Good, good hair. Get the boot knife. I really wish they gave you better like close up for weapons in the Rift Pass instead of just showing it on, on the character model. So that looks kind of cool. You have a dark blade with the red handle. That's pretty cool. Is this just a variation of what we already saw on the previous page for the free pass? Okay. All right, that's just a pair of jeans. Nothing too special about this. Looks like something, looks like pajama pants. Storm's Edge trousers. Trousers. Catalyst of Madness. <gasps> oh, that's such a cool Wraith skin. Oh shoot, that's pretty cool. 
Why is your rate so small? Is that supposed to fit his floor? Looks like a little kid. How does the wraith become... I think he's a black kid and he becomes like this tree. How does he become a tree? Um, that'd be an interesting story to check out later whenever I do some archives videos. Ugh, reach of other. What kind of arm is that? I'm not even going to tell you guys what that looks like. <laughs> you guys can put that together. The deep blue death. Alright, it's just a... This looks like it comes from DVD Mobile almost. <laughs> with, the, with the blueness of it. The hell kicking hero. Ooh. See, these are the kind of cosmetics I enjoy. It's a whole complete different style. It's not just a color variation. That looks sick. The Titan Stars and Chain. Oh, shoot. That's pretty cool as well. It's, it's not the most detailed. It doesn't stand out the most, but it has some cool features. I like that. It's not bad skin. What kind of helmet? I thought it was a helmet for the Trapper. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. You guys can already see what this is. But that's pretty cool, I'd say. Is this supposed to be a version of a bell for a... It's a charm, but is this supposed to be like a wraith bell? And then we have this, which is a meg cosmic. I don't know what's going on with their eyes. You can't even really see them. So I don't really like that you can't see that. But the rest of the cosmic looks pretty cool. It's a cool charm. We have the lucky chip, which is not that interesting in of itself. This is not that interesting. It's another color variation. Disappointing. The hazmat mask. All right, that's a pretty cool, cool addition, but it almost looks like a color variation of one that already exists in the game. Old luckies. It's just a pair of jeans. Nothing too special about that. The heavy striker. Okay. What's in his weapon? What, what Trapper? What kind of additions are you adding, my dude? What kind of upgrades? What kind of upgrades does that serve? The parched desert sleeveless shirt. Looks like maybe a color variation of something that already exists, or maybe it's very similar in design to something that already exists. But nonetheless, that looks pretty cool, though. We have more hag. Ugh. <laughs> what kind of skin is that? Dude, this is kind of cool, though. This is a really cool hag skin. Ugh, it's all saggy and fleshy, too. Devs, <laughs> too far, devs. She tried to be Leatherface so bad. Look at her. She tried to put someone else's face on there. That's disgusting. We got the blackened catalyst uh, charm. That's a pretty good, cool design. School camp, not that interesting. What's this one called? Uh oh, shot glass. Uh oh, shot glass. Okay. Whoa, the shrouded intense. Why did that freeze the game a little bit? Whoa! <laughs> I gotta get this skin, dude. Wow! He's on fire still. Somebody's helped this man. He has a little cape on too. Whoa. Dang, that's kind of eerie. Crystal Seafair. All right, then we have the Coastal Sword. Dang, I need, how big of a sword do you need? That blade is not even like sharp. What are you using? The Glided Peacock. It's a pretty cool pants. Nothing. It's not my style, I guess, but it's pretty cool to see though. Hydro Shock, uh, shock that looks like it contributes to another bluish skin. Again, probably looks like it comes from TBD Mobile. All right, that's not bad. I mean, it gives a little bit more variation to Jake. Eww. Hag, you've been getting some weird skins. I don't know what the developers have been thinking about you. Wormy Opener. Okay, they're big into worms this time. Big into the metal, that's another color variation. All right, that's pretty creative. I actually like this. I, I can let this slide. Sizzling grill. Literally looks like a grill. That's pretty cool. Emerald plume. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this might have to make Zarina a playable character in the future, if you know what I'm saying. Dang. I like that. I like that. What's going on with your face? What's this called? The bloody... I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Bro, it looks like they literally like took a razor and shaved off all of his skin. It's just like flesh, blood. Stop, stopwatch. Okay, that's an interesting charm. This is another color variation. Disappointing. King of the Ocean. And that's not bad. That's a pretty decent jacket. I think it stands out too much. Another color variation. Whoa, I like that. It says hairs have like feathers come out of the back. That's a pretty cool mask. I don't know why they have the, the helmet block here. Maybe that's purposeful. Is this a, like a hag inspired charm with what they do with their skins? What kind of skin is it? Death Wreck. Dang. This looks like these guys got put into like some horror film. Imagine Wally, -E, right? The movie Wally, -E, but horror. That's what this would be. <laughs> Humans getting squashed up in, into a square. Grecian Treasury. That hair is actually pretty nice. It's not bad. Auto Haven Records. So see this? I don't know what they're doing with the textures here, but this is some. Maybe it's just detailed? I like that. That's not a bad uh, charm by any means. Fame Maker. Is this supposed to go with that top? Why would they put it toward the end of the pass? Come on, devs. Another pretty cool skirt. I see the blue. That's why I think it goes together. 
yesterday's sandals. We have another color variation. Again, disappointing. They're not very interesting. A helmet. I mean, a helmet. I actually called it a helmet. It's a hat. The Western Days Cowboy hat. Looks like a variation that might already exist in the game if this is not already the one that does exist in the game. The 8 bit pizza hoodie. Okay, okay, he's a gamer. Okay, I like that. What, what games are you playing, Dwight? It better be Dead by Daylight, dude. I'm telling you. Whoa, what was that that came out of his game? Was that blood? Like, what was that? Distraught souls. Hold on, can we re equip that? Can you explode again, my guy? That looks like blood came out of him. Blueberry skirts. Um, that's an okay cosmetic. This kind of looks like a variation that might have that already exists in the game. Grimy shackles, okay. Rusty shackles, that's pretty good of a cosmetic. I like that. This is uh, this is any character, so it could be on on the killer hook. That could be cool. The act of reprisal, I think. It has some flames coming off it, and that's actually a pretty cool design. Look at that, that's pretty sharp. And then we're coming up to the end here. We have the tray aces. Okay, that's not bad. I can I can uh, accept it. The standouts. Ooh, I like that hair. And then we have the tiki death cup, which in of itself, the tiki cup is not very interesting. Um, I mean it's well designed. I will give it that. I think it's supposed to be from the wraiths. I think because they're little like teasers showed like a, I think like a village thing, right? I like the smoke coming out of it. That's some pretty cool VFX. Is that the killer? Any character? Thanks. So you'll have like smoke coming off you if you wear this as a survivor. All right. But I guess it's gonna be it for, for today's video because of course enjoyed. I really hope you guys also enjoyed tagging along and seeing first impressions of what the Rift Pass is. I did it. It was probably out during the PTB the test, but I did not take a look at it then, so I wanted to go ahead and take a look at it now. So I want to thank you guys for watching. In this video if you guys of course it did like i said before smack the like button and subscribe we are pushing towards 400 subscribers so consider subscribing and i'll talk to you guys all later peace out a new rift is now available within the archives bringing brand new time limited rewards for you to collect the conviction rift features a free trap Available to all players, this track offers two new outfits as part of the Treacherous Waters collection. Naval Warfare for the Doctor, and Wave Runner for David King. Immediately unlock exclusive premium cosmetic items with the Rift Pass. Challenge the Observer's Oris Web and earn your way through the premium track. A new set of cosmetics to unlock awaits you within the Conviction Collection. Shine atop the podium with the Jewel of the Party outfit for Meg Thomas. Unleash the power of the unknown with the Hag's Abomination outfit. Show off your resilience with the Sideshow Brawler outfit for Ace Visconti. Let your rage burn bright with the Wraith's Phantom of Vengeance outfit. Play through all 70 tiers of the Rift and earn the full set of outfits and charms. The Rift also introduces a stunning addition to the Greek Legends collection with Zarina Kassir's Goddess Queen outfit. The Rift might close, but the rewards you earn are still yours forever. Look deeper into the fog with the Conviction Rift, available now in Dead by Daylight.